Hello everybody, I am Moldy West, and this is Oblivion, the Daedric Hunt, once again. Today, we are going for a dig old brand, and I need to go speak to Bowie Thea to get that, and the shrine should be right around here. That shouldn't take too long to get there. I already read up on everything I need and the approximate location, saying that it was west of that river and also sort of east of the M in the word mountain on the map. So I got its approximate location marked. By the time I reach the marker, the actual thing on the compass should show up, and I don't care about you doomed mine. How dare you get discovered by me? And who the hell's coming at me? There's Sabato music. Oh, somebody I don't care about. Now die. You do have some nice looking armor. I do think it would look better on me though. Ha 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 ha. Wait a minute. Is my armor better? I think it might be. That's seven. And Miss Savior's head is also seven, but it's also damaged, which lowers the thing. Hold on, I need to repair stuff first. Ding, da, ding, da, dong, dong, ding, ding, dong. Fix everything up and then I do. All right, now let's see. Yep, Savior's Hide is better than Elven Curus. Onward! If I can get up the side of this mountain. This is the problem with getting to the Shrine of Boethia. Too many mountains in the way. I'm gonna spend about 20 hours trying to walk up the side of a mountain. But that's the Elder Scrolls games for ya! You see, the key to walking up the side of the mountain is to move to the side until you find a spot that lets you up. That's what you gotta do if you wanna Elder Scrolls your way up a mountain. Now if I could just hit a... There we go, I, I've raised about an inch. We're on the way! Sooner or later, I will be there. Hey, lots of progress. That's good. And there's the marker. And more battle music. Hey, a bear. You want some of this bear? Brown bear, brown bear, gonna be a red bear. Kill it with my sword, and now I've got your soul. I don't even need your pelt. Why am I searching your corpse? Worthless corpse bear. If I'm not mistaken, the shrine is up there on that ridge with those trees. Hell of a place to put a Daedric shrine. But then again, it's not a, not exactly a widely worshipped thing and people tend to criminalize it. Sometimes. In fact, I think I do see the, the statue up there behind that rock. If I could just get up there. It's real hard to reach this particular one. I don't think there is a way of getting there without having to walk up the side of the mountain. However, if I did have a certain mod that allows you to summon and ride dragons, I'd be able to get up there. Though I'm not sure if you can mod the Steam version without Steam Workshop stuff. And there ain't no Steam Workshop stuff for this game. There might be for Skyrim, but this game's a little too old for that. And I think I may have lost a little mountain progress. Damn you rocks that are floating on the side of the mountain! Alright, progress. I'm not quite high enough though. I must get higher! Higher! Yay, I found the shrine! Now I could fast travel there, or I could just do that. Yeah, and I don't see any roads, except for this one. So you don't have to walk up the side of the mountain. You, sir, have an axe. That's a very nice touch on your statue. Alright, talk to me, Boethia! And don't you dare push me! But first, I should talk to s this guy, Hackwan. Approach the shrine of Boethia. Tread lightly. And you have cornrows. That's a nice hairstyle, by the way. I could never pull it off. I'd look stupid with it. 
You believe yourself worthy to approach the shrine of Boethia. Perhaps. Or perhaps you will be slaughtered. It is your choice. Well, we will see. Uh, we will approach the shrine. Or suicide. Approach then. Make an offering. Boethia demands a Deidre's heart. I've got a few of those. I knew there was a so Daedric true. Lord that wanted one of those, I just didn't remember which one. Well, take this heart. Why do you summon me? You are not one of my people. No, I just want your stuff. Do you hope to be counted among my chosen? Maybe. Then prove yourself to me, mortal. Give me a task and I'll do it. I shall open a portal for you to one of my realms in oblivion. Go. And take your place in my tournament of ten bloods. Ten bloods? That's Survive, a lot of bloods. And you will be rewarded. They and your soul belongs to me. I've got a very good track record of surviving. I don't think I've actually died in any of these episodes. Except for that two minutes of falling down. Or maybe it was one minute. When I just happened to fall off the bridge, got up midair, and then died once I hit the ground, but that was it. Alright, let's go. Tournament! As soon as it loads. Be gone, Cage! Welcome, Imperial, to the Tournament of Ten Bloods. You can to recognize right, me as an Imperial. That's nice. Nine gates. Another chosen awaits you. I think I should get rid of this marker. Hey, I'm right in the middle of the map. Don't even need the marker anymore. It was just to guide me here. Now, which way do I go? And I'm surprised he could identify me as an Imperial. What with my, my weird gosh, lookingness. Because you I am pretty damn fast. And ah. you can only hurt yourself. And yoink. Ha! No more axe for you. Ha! I stole your axe. Ha! 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 Boing! Go ahead, punch me, dare ya. Okay, stumble around. Can you even hurt me? Go ahead, try it, bitch. Yeah, only a little bit. And guess what, the pain is gone. You are fucking dead as soon as I get a hit on you. There we go. Ha. Did you just make a song reference? What about those boots and gauntlets? Those are probably better than mine. They're glass. Everyone knows glass is a great protective thingy. Though I'm not so sure about the curse. It might not be as good as my thing. Uh, it protects more, but it doesn't have the agility of agility. Can you even see how it's spelled right there? My face might be blocking it. Anywho, put that on and those boots and that's probably the things well, that's just a minor setback on the speed, which is already maxed out. I don't really care. Who's gonna notice just being slightly slower? This lord is an animal, a glorious beast. Watch her teeth. She bites. Oh, really? And I should probably get rid of this. But now that I think about it, what if I disarm you? I could take your sword, and then you would be defenseless against me. And now I immediately regret removing agility because I'm stumbling around every single time I get hit and that's why I had that enchanted in the first place. Please stop stumbling. Take that. I want you to drop your sword so that I can take it and you won't be able to fight. Yoink. Ha <laughs> ha. I got your sword. You can't stop me. Wee. Come on. You know you want to step into the flames. Ha. <laughs> Idiot. I must confess, that Lord was a disappointment. I just love running off with other people's weapons. They are completely helpless without them. Ow, fire. Let me just put this and that in there. I don't need no claymore or war axe. Let's just leave those in the flames. If my other opponents want those weapons, they'll have to go and get them. And I just thought of a better place to put those weapons! The gate is open. Kerploop! I don't see him. Okay, now I see him. 
And they're still at Claymore back in the fire. But I doubt that you favor Claymores. Take that! I will take that axe of yours, though. If you drop it. Come on, drop it. Drop the axe. Put it down! Come on! Come on! I want your axe to drop out of your hand so I can steal it from you. You think you can beat me? Yeah, well, you think wrong. And... Aww. Aww, don't stumble. Stumbling is bad. Remember what I just said about stumbling? Now take that! I want your... Okay, that works. Alas, Paul. This was not your finest hour. True that. Whee! Kerploop. Now I'm gonna go back and grab that claymore and toss it into the lava. That way nobody can run over here and grab it out of the fire. That way if I disarm my other opponent, they will be completely helpless unless they want to dive into the lava for those other weapons. But that's not gonna help them out. They'll die before they can reach them. And there it goes. Greet the war-hardened Red God. Fight for my glory, chosen one. It would be a lot easier to read the subtitles if it didn't say loading area. Give me your weapon! I want to steal it from you. Okay, paralysis. Can you stop hitting me? It is very rude to hit a man while he's down. You realize you're only killing yourself right now. You're gonna kill- you will die before I do, even if you do paralyze me. In the scales of testing, Red God, you are tried and found wanting. Curp loop. <laughs> Threefold shield. That's an enchantment on an elven shield. What kind of enchantment is that? I want to know, I want to know where uh, reflect spell. Okay, spellbreaker does that better. That is the only heavy armor I ever use in this game. The spellbreaker. But only because I went through the trouble of wandering through hell, finding lost souls for it. Okay. He's got a bow. That makes things a bit different. Ha! <laughs> Let's see you die. A mace, huh? How about I knock that out of your hand and toss it into the lava? You know you're just gonna die before I do, don't ya? Go on, try it, bitch! There he goes. Ha! Alas for the honor of Valenwood. The wood elf has fallen. Speaking of Valenwood. I would like to go there in one Elder Scrolls game sometime. Ow, lava. Uh, do not step in lava. I just want to make sure that mace is so far in that if anyone happens to go after it, they have to go down into it to get it. And as for you, Boethius, Boethius Chosen, hmm, Bow of Quietus. That's a stupid name. A very stupid name. And I'm gonna... Put you in the lava if I could. There we go. Got a hold of you. I want you in the lava. Stop resisting! Got him by the head. That's the best part to grab a hold of. Come on. Oh, I lost my grip. Hey, come on. Give me your head. I want that head. Forward. Keep on moving. Don't lose the grip. On the dreams of the past, you must fight just to keep them alive. Goodbye. Heh, <laughs> you can hear it splash. And lava doesn't usually splash. Beyond this gate is my Arconian challenger. She is a clever thing and eager for your life. Come on, you so called clever thing. Okay, paralysis. That's just great. Okay, fall down like an idiot. Come on, show me what you got. You ain't got nothing. And what kind of archer wears heavy armor and uses claymores? That's a weird thing to do if you're using a bow. Weirdo. Come on, you know you want some of this. And the co- Yeah, she's dead. Now I just throw your shit into the lava so that other people can't come back and grab it. 
not without dying anyhow. If I just so happen to disarm them and steal their weapon. I'm surprised it actually worked on those first two people. It so rarely works. Here you face the swift and subtle battle. Go through the gate, chosen, and test your faith. Yeah, subtle. Real subtle. Turning yourself invisible right in front of me. Right in full view of the man who wants you dead. What a pity. For the brethren, it is over. Over indeed. And now let's just put this where it belongs. And kerplop. The dark elves are my favorite people. But I am fair minded. The outcome is in your hands. That don't look like no dark elf. Oh wait, yeah, now it does. Now he looks like a dark yeah. elf. And he didn't even get to pull his regular a weapon out. Effort, dark elf. But take comfort. Your spirit is mine. Does he have white guy feet on a dark elf body? And are those feet bigger than usual? I can't tell. What things do you have? Yeah, he's got that axe that he didn't even get to pull out. Let's just make sure nobody loots your carcass. I'll just take you over here, and I'll just toss you down there. Does that sound fun? It should. What kind of armor is that? Elven. I don't need your elven stuff. Oh, I almost flew into the lava myself. Okay, goodbye. Look at him float. Oh, God, lost my grip. Ha. Burn for all eternity, dead man. Who's next? Your high elf of high elf. is cool and confident. Go, let the contest begin. So you think high elves are cool, do ya? Let's see just how cool you are when you got a sword through your gullet. And I do not like being set on fire. Ha! Idiot! The set yourself on fire. Dust. You alone, Imperial, remain. Yeah, first I win. And last. Go now. Beyond the next gate, your waits. Okay, but first I just gotta loot your stuff, and then maybe toss your corpse into the lava, because why not? I gotta throw something into the lava. Yeah, I know, I won the quest, let's go! That's the wrong button! Come on! I need you to go over here and drop into lava! Okay, well, she's down in a ditch and I can't get her out. So much for roasting a high elf. You know high elf flesh is tasty. You return to the world of men. Go now, chosen one, and claim your prize. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and do that. I just love the taste of roasted high elf. Shame I didn't get to roast that bitch. I already got spoils of the fall, and I tossed their weapons into the lava, and I wanted to roast that bitch, but nope, she's in a ditch. All right, let's go. Give me my prize. My prize. Yo, bitch, you owe me something. I greet you, chosen one. A victory in my toilet of ten bloods brings great honor. Great honor. Take gold, man. Stop pushing me. Your enemies and offer their souls as praise to me. I know whose soul I'm going to offer to you not with it right now. That bitch was pushing me, and that is a crime. Punishable by own, only by death. Now, where is gold brand? It was placed in my inventory, wasn't it? Why don't... Oh, there it is. Now, which one is better? Umbra, with a power of 19, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be 20, but it's damaged. Hold on! Ding, ding, dong, dong, fixing everything! Ding. 21! And the gold brand is 18, with 22 points of fire damage. So, the gold brand is arguably stronger. Though it's essentially just the ebony blade with a gold colored blade. And you, you will pay for the crime of pushing me! As if I could just hit you. Now die! Die? There she goes. Nice and roasted. Now I shall partake of your flesh, but I shall do that later. Can't have an audience for that, that would just be gross. But that's it. I got me the gold brand. 
And so, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!